Chase Muffs and Hunter 4 got a package in the mail today. So let's get right into it. Uh, I have no clue what it is, so let's find out together. Uh, it feels thick, so that could be an interesting sign. It does look thick. Okay, interesting packaging for sure. Certainly unique. They used the uh, Omega box to uh, protect it. Not a terrible idea. The card is nice. Dale Howardchuck from Dominion. Let's open this real quick. Uh, I got this for really cheap. It was like 15 bucks. It is a Dale Howardchuck or Howardchuck, however you say his name. I never get it right. Base autograph uh, sapphire parallel from 1011 Dominion, a really good product. Um, and this is numbered 8 of 10. Back's actually not that bad. The back looked a lot worse on eBay. It looked like it was all white and chipped, but it seems fine. And I mean, by white and chipped, I mean it was like on the edges here. Must have been just glare or something. It looks fine here though. Corner's a little soft. That's like what it's like with all of these Dominion cards, especially from 1011. But the front is fine, so that's okay. I mainly bought it for the front, anyways. I'm not buying it for the back. One awesome looking card. I don't know what my cat's doing. She's behind me walking around on cards, so it's kind of worrying. But, um, yeah, this was a super nice card for 15 bucks. Why not? Um, I do have some more of these Sapphire cards. I have a Corey Perry base out of 10, Tavares base out of 10, and a Tavares tag out of 6 in my one of my boxes somewhere. So this will go nicely with them. That's it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.